Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm doing a St. Patrick's Day inspired look. This look that you are currently um, looking at on my face, I am going to do a little walkthrough of how I completed this look. I wouldn't call it a tutorial because I don't think it was very educational, but I just did this to have fun. I was inspired by the combination of rainbows and green makeup as St. Patrick's Day themes. And yes, I already know it has already been St. Patrick's Day like a week ago while I'm filming this. And I'm sure it'll be even later when I upload it. I did say in my introduction that I wanted to wait a little bit until I did a makeup video. But since the current situation has unfolded, as it has and I am confined to my house at the moment. I am just trying to make do with what I can. My other ideas mostly involved going out so I am unable to do that at this point point. and so I just decided to go ahead and make a makeup video even though it makes me a little bit self-conscious because I don't know if I'm not great at it or not. And I hope it's at least a little bit entertaining for you to watch as well. This look took me forever to do. Um, I started at 12 and I think it's probably like 4 or 5 now. So <laughs> I'm going to have to cut out a big chunk of my filming time. A lot of it's just me goofing off and trying to decide what I'm doing. So it's probably not going to be very thorough, but I really hope at least it's a little bit entertaining. So here we Hello. go. So I've already gone ahead and done all of the things off screen that I didn't think were necessarily relevant to this video. I have my base face on and by that I just mean primer, foundation, concealer, eyebrows, powder. That's what I did. And yeah, my face is face colored. My eyebrows are eyebrow colored and they're uh, they're decently even. I, you know, they're never perfect, but it's okay. I'm all right with it. If you're all right with it, I'm all right with it. So before I actually get into doing my eye makeup, I just want to go over all the products that I have already used. So there's no question about that. Um, I first, I use this um, primer, which is the Lor Lorac. Is that how you say that? Probably not. Porefection Mattifying Face Primer. I use the Infallible Pro Matte L'Oreal Foundation in True Porcelain. And somehow, even though, despite being true porcelain, it's a little bit too dark for me. I am in the market for a new foundation. If anybody has any suggestions, this one's too matte for me. It's too drying. And then for a concealer, I use Tarte shape tape you know everyone's fave fan fave shape tape tart it's in porcelain beige powder i use airspun airspun loose face powder yes and since 1935 huh and for my eyebrows i used anastasia or anastasia if you want to be like that but this is an ebony it's the pomade i think this is the darkest brown that you can get and then for powder on my brows i use the ulta beauty brow powder in dark brown so let's just get freaking to it i guess there's my cat you can see half of him i like being able to see his little tiny baby feet at all times <laughs> i'm gonna be completely honest with you this is my second attempt i just tried to do this and I messed up. Oh, I messed up. And now we're going to try again and not make the same mistake twice. First mistake, not using eyeshadow primer. Can you see that? Nah, it's too bright. It's Sephora eyeshadow primer. Beauty amplifier is what it's called. So we're just going to use some of that on our eyelids. The royal we. So now that I've done that and I'm actually doing this correctly. Look at his feet. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so cute. I don't know what color this is. It's ColourPop. The Create Your Own Palette. Um, ColourPop palette. It's this color this light light lavender color but i don't remember what it's called because it's i put it in here myself and it doesn't have any shade names so i'm just going in 
right over where my crease falls. Really light. It's really light. It's a light color. And that's what I want, I think. I think that's what I want. So see, I'm going to try to do a rainbow. And I also may not have as many shades as I would like, ideally, for this look. Does that even register as purple? Kind of. It is like a muted lilac lavender color. Yeah, that's purple. Okay, so now for blue. Going in rainbow order from purple to red. This is pretty much the only blue that I have that is matte. And it is a lot more pigmented than this purple that I just used. See, yeah, it's quite a bit darker than the purple. Maybe I do need to use the darker purple. So yes, this is the same palette using this color. This is the color I used before and now I'm using this color. Don't you think it's weird how like people see colors differently? Like I always used to argue with my mom about teal. Which I think is like more blue. Like it has green in it, but I feel like it's more blue. But she would always tell me that it's like green. Let me know in the comments. Is teal more blue or more green in your opinion? Because like, I mean, I know the answer. And the answer is that it's more blue. You can voice your own wrong opinion if you'd like to on the matter. But no, for real. I really feel like people probably perceive colors differently from each other and I think that's really interesting all of her perspectives are different and that's why it's hard to relate to certain people hashtag deep deep makeup thoughts man reality just sub subjective man like no two people's reality is the same Man, know your thoughts, like create your reality. Your internal world is also your external world. I don't know what I'm doing. Make me stop. Please just punch me in the face. This is what happens when I don't have anything specific to say. I just ramble. Oh, I rambled so much. So that's purple and blue. And perfection takes work. Is this perfection? No. <laughs> No, it's not. Okay, green. For this one, I do actually know what the color is called. It's called Wicked. I'm using this like green apple flavored one. I don't know what the flavor is, but it looks like it'd be green apple. Ooh, I kind of like that. Oh, and this palette that I'm using the green from is, what is it called? It's called Matte. It's just called Matte and it's Carity professional i don't even know that brand i think this is a dupe and this is my oldest palette that i own it was gifted to me by a beautiful friend of mine many 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 years ago i think i was like maybe 15 when i got this and mind you i'm 19 now so this is really old but it still looks good huh uh yeah four years old yeah that's math uh-huh, math. Maybe I got it when I was 14 and then it would be five years old. Like, that's as old as, like, a school-aged child. <laughs> and I'm still using it, so. I guess I just like to live life on the edge, I guess. I'm a risk taker, what can I say? Okay, now I'm going in with yellow. I'm gonna use him. I'm gonna use him. Sometimes you gotta um, blow on your makeup brush before you put it on your face to make sure the makeup isn't too hot. Health and safety tips. Yay, yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. So orange and red don't look like they're gonna be able to fit on here. I might just do red, cause like orange is the worst color anyway. Like full shade. Do not like orange. 
it's okay if you like orange, I guess, but I, 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 I'm just kidding. I hope you know I'm kidding. You can like whatever colors you want. It does not impact me at all. I like the way that looks. So orange. So orange. I guess I'm using you. You can tell I've never used this orange before. I don't think I've ever used this orange before. I don't like orange. And a rainbow, it's fine. What color is this? Rush. Oh. That's so bright. It's like Cheeto dust flavored. So now red. That's a rainbow. This color is Rebirth from the Venus One palette from Lime Crime. Mm -hmm. I love the way that looks. I hope you know that by doing this, I'm not claiming that I really know what I, I'm doing. Because I don't. Winging it. Because it's like a wing. Do you get my joke? Alright. Cool beans. Cool, cool, cool beans. The coolest beans I ever did know. Okay, now I'm cutting the crease. Oh, the adventures and beauty of trial and error. Let's do more green now. We're gonna use this Pisces shimmery, shimmery green. <laughs> I like that. I like that quite a bit. This is Intense Jade by Styla. I also don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Well, I'm gonna get a Q-tip. I swear I'm not usually this bad at doing my eyeliner. Okay, last step for me. Last step for me, well, I makeup wise. Gonna use some glitter primer. And then I'm gonna get some uh, this glitter, which you can't see at all. This glitter. I'm using Maybelline, the Colossal Classic Black, this, mascara. I don't know why, but I think it smells really good. It smells like lilacs and babies. There we go, there's our eyes. There's my eyes. These are my eyes, they're not yours. Let's put on some blush. Am I gonna use this green Jeffree Star lipstick? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. am. This is Crocodile Tears. I'm still getting used to my library. Frog Lips. Frog Lips. I look like a crazy person and I dig it. No, last, last, last step. Highlighter. Oh, it's a glitter party. Put that right there. This is lime crime, by the way. Is that it? Are we done? This is um, just NYX um, glow and setting spray. Do we finish? Thank you for watching. I hope this was at least a little bit entertaining. I had a lot of fun making this look, even though I messed up multiple times. I hope everybody has a great day. I'm going to try to have a great day as well. Bye-bye.